We're ready now to talk about creating new processes um, in the same way that a shell does. And you probably expect that there would be a system call like new process, which takes the program to run in that new process and some arguments uh, for that function, for that program. And uh, that would be very sensible. You know, if program one is starting program two, then we start out with this bit of user code that the kernel sees, and we end up with two different possibilities for the, the kernel to run as user code where program 2's memory starts out uh, just initialized but separate from program 1's memory. Okay. That's not how it works on Unix. What Unix provides instead is a pair of functions that we can use together to get the same effect. The first function is called fork and it creates a copy of the current process. So if you have program 1 running with memory 1 and uh, some set of registers, then fork creates a copy of exactly the same thing, running the same program with the same code and with the same picture of memory and the same registers and everything. As these two programs, these two processes rather, uh, continue running then they can end up with different memory. Right? They have separate copies and they, you know, changes to memory and this process will not affect the memory in this other process. But the, the function that goes with it is called execve and execve uh, if program 1 starts running program 2 with execve, it just replaces uh, the current program with the new program and it resets memory back to the initial state. And so using it fork and execve, you can get the effect of new process. You fork the current program and then in the new copy of the program, then you use execve to start the other program. And we end up with the picture program 1, program 2, the same as we would get with create process. We'll see going forward why fork and execve are handy to have uh, as smaller pieces of new process. So fork um, is the function that we're going to be looking at to create a process. Right? It creates a process that's a copy of the current one. When you call fork then it makes a copy that has a, a different process ID, right? because every process has a unique ID, and fork returns the process ID for the process that it created but it only returns that number in the creating process, in the original. The new process, which because it's a clone, it was also in the middle of a fork call when the process was created, uh, it starts to diverge from the original process because it gets a zero back from fork. So we're going to see the pattern where a program calls fork, the process running that program that gets a zero back, that's going to be the child process, right? the new one that was created, while the process that called fork um, gets back a number that corresponds to that new process. And we call that the parent process gets the number for the child process. So fork is interesting because from the programmer's perspective you have this program that calls fork just once but it returns t returns twice with two separate futures, two separate control flows. Let's look at an example. Here's a program that uh, just sets x to 1 and then it calls fork and then that means this if line is reached by two separate processes, both running the program and both initially with x equals 0. The child process, which we know it's where the child process, if we get PID as 0 back from fork, um, it's going to increment x and print that out. The parent process is going to decrement x and print that out. So we can try running this process, this program. All right, I'll call it fork and we will compile it. Okay, now you see I got an error trying to compile it because capital F fork is not available. That's because I need to include csapp.c in my compilation line to get that error handling version of fork. Uh, when we run this program then we see parent x equals 0, child x equals 2. So that's demonstrating that uh, both branches of this if happens, the child branch and the parent branch, and they had different copies of x as well. 